DJ Jam Master J's music was more than just beats and lyrics, it was the pulsating heartbeat of a culture, a soundtrack to a revolution. His influence on hip-hop as part of the iconic trio run DMC cannot be understated. Alongside Daryl DMC McDaniels and Joseph Rev Run Simmons, he helped shape the sound and style of an entire genre, bringing it to the forefront of popular music. His mastery at the turntables was unparalleled, creating a sonic backdrop that allowed the potent lyrics of McDaniels and Simmons to shine. Jam Master J's beats weren't just accompaniment, they were the foundation, the driving force of each track. This was a radical shift in the landscape of hip-hop, a move away from the simple loops of the genre's early days to complex, layered compositions. Run DMC's hits like My Adidas, It's Tricky, and the Aerosmith collaboration Walk This Way were more than just chart toppers. They were cultural touchstones, songs that bridged the gap between hip-hop and mainstream music, between urban streets and suburban homes. Their music broke down barriers and challenged preconceptions, proving that hip-hop could be commercially successful and critically acclaimed. But Jam Master Jay's impact wasn't just limited to the music itself. His style, his swagger, his sheer presence was just as influential. He was a role model for aspiring DJs and producers, a testament to the power of creativity and innovation. He showed the world that a kid from Hollis, Queens could become a global icon, that hip-hop wasn't just a fad, it was a movement. Through his music, DJ Jam Master J left an indelible mark on the world of hip-hop. On a cold night in October 2002, the music world was shaken to its core. DJ Jam Master J, the man who had become a symbol of hip-hop, was no more. The chilling events of that fateful night unfolded in his own sanctuary, his recording studio in Queens, New York. Amidst the rhythm of beats and melodies that had given birth to countless hits, a discordant note was struck. A note that would forever alter the course of hip-hop history. Jam Master Jay, born Jason Mizell, was in his studio that night, perhaps conjuring up his next musical masterpiece. But as the night wore on, a dark shadow fell over the studio. A confrontation erupted, fueled by a dispute over cocaine distribution, a stark contrast to the harmonious sounds that usually filled the space. Without warning, the studio's creative hum was shattered by the deadly echo of gunfire. Jam Master Jay was shot, an act of violence that extinguished the life of a man who had lit up the hip-hop stage with his talent and charisma. In the immediate aftermath, shock and confusion swept across not just Queens, but the entire music world. The news spread like wildfire, leaving a trail of disbelief and sorrow in its wake. The man who had brought the beats to the revolutionary group Run DMC, the man who had helped shape the landscape of hip-hop, was gone in an instant. The initial shock soon gave way to a deep collective grief. Fans and fellow musicians alike mourned the loss of a man who had been a beacon of creativity and innovation in the music industry. His untimely death raised a chorus of questions that echoed across the globe. Who could have committed such a heinous act and why? The death of DJ Jam Master J sent shockwaves through the music industry and left fans around the world in mourning. Despite the passage of time, the pain of his loss still resonates, reminding us of the fragility of life and the enduring power of music. For nearly two decades, the murder of DJ Jam Master J remained an unsolved mystery. The hip-hop world was left reeling and the trail went cold, leaving a void filled with questions and speculation. The initial investigation into the murder of Jam Master J, a member of the influential group Run DMC, kicked off in 2002. The crime scene was his recording studio in Queens, New York City. Despite a thorough investigation and multiple witness testimonies, the case seemed to hit a brick wall. The leads dried up and the case went cold, with no arrests made for almost 20 years. In the year 2020, a breakthrough came. The arrests of two men, Ronald Washington and Carl Jordan Jr., breathed new life into the case that had been stagnant for too long. These weren't unfamiliar faces either. Washington was already in prison for robbery and Jordan was a known figure in the neighborhood. The trial that followed was intense and heavily scrutinized. The motive, as presented by the prosecution, was a dispute over cocaine distribution. The charges were severe. Murder while engaged in narcotics trafficking and firearm-related murder. Over the course of several weeks, more than 30 witnesses were called to the stand. 
Key testimonies identified Washington and Jordan as the culprits, and even Washington himself seemed to corroborate his involvement with statements made. Jordan, on the other hand, maintained his innocence, claiming he was elsewhere at the time of the murder. The evidence stacked up and the jury had their say. Both men were found guilty. The minimum sentence they faced was 20 years in prison, but life imprisonment was also on the table. A third suspect, Jay Bryant, was mentioned, but his trial would be set for a later date. The conviction of Ronald Washington and Carl Jordan Jr. brought some closure to a case that had remained unsolved for nearly two decades. While it didn't bring back the influential DJ Jam Master Jay, it did shed light on the dark mystery of his untimely demise. This trial serves as a stark reminder of the very real dangers that can lurk in the shadows of fame and success. Even in death, DJ Jam Master Jay continues to inspire and influence. His music, his style, his unrelenting passion for the art form, they all continue to echo throughout the corridors of hip-hop culture and resonate with fans across the globe. From the streets of New York City to the farthest corners of the world, Jam Master Jay's legacy is alive and thriving. His unique sound, a fusion of classic rock and emerging hip-hop rhythms, was groundbreaking in its time, and it continues to be a source of inspiration for countless artists today. But the impact of Jam Master Jay extends beyond the music. He was a trailblazer, a pioneer who helped propel hip-hop into mainstream consciousness. His work with Run DMC broke down barriers, paving the way for future generations of hip-hop artists to find acceptance and success on a global scale. And then there was his commitment to his community. Jam Master Jay was known for nurturing young talent, for providing opportunities to those who otherwise might not have had them. His efforts to uplift those around him are a testament to his character, to his belief in the transformative power of music. Today, his spirit lives on in the countless DJs and hip-hop artists who have been inspired by his work. His influence can be heard in the beats and rhythms that pulse through our speakers, seen in the continued popularity of his tracks, and felt in the hearts of those who remember his contributions to music and society. To say that Jam Master Jay was influential would be an understatement. His impact on the music industry, on hip-hop culture, on the world, is immeasurable. DJ Jam Master Jay's life was cut short, but his music and his legacy live on. He was not just a DJ, but a master of his craft, a pioneer of hip-hop, and an icon whose influence will be felt for generations to come. On February 27, 2024, a federal jury in Brooklyn returned a guilty verdict against Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington for the October 30, 2002 murder of Jason Mizell, also known as Jam Master Jay a member of the famed hip-hop group Run DMC. Both defendants were charged with murder while engaged in a narcotics trafficking conspiracy and firearm-related murder for the fatal shooting of Mizell inside the victim's recording studio in Hollis, Queens. The verdict followed a four-week trial before United States District Judge Lashan Deercy Hall. When sentenced, Jordan and Washington face a minimum of 20 years imprisonment and a maximum term of life imprisonment.